Hey everybody, so one of the things that I've been asked most frequently is what's my new makeup routine? So I decided today to give you a quick and simple get ready makeup routine. This is what I do pretty much most of the time. Every girl needs one of these stippling brushes. Now I probably should clean mine more often and I probably am going to use it wrong, but I notice an increased difference when I put foundation on with this thing. And the reality is I would have never thought of this type of brush for foundation, but you'll see the difference it makes. And I honestly think that's the biggest difference in my makeup is this thing. So I'm using this Lumi cushion. They're new and I'm using a shade N 3.5 and this is my summer color and I'm not quite there right now. I'm a little pale in the face as you can see. So I'm flipping the lid over and I'm taking some Neutrogena Healthy Skin Fair to Light and I'm putting this in here. Now, what I'm gonna do is pounce this in here, pounce, 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 and then mix it in with the other. So it's gonna make a slightly darker shade than that. And now all I'm gonna do is this. Stipple, stipple your face. Done. Next, for my eyebrows. Now my eyebrows are naturally blonde, because I am blonde. So I use NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, and I use it in a shade Espresso. And this is like the laziest thing in the world to do. You just like color in your eyebrows. Now I'm fortunate because my eyebrows are so light, I don't really have to do any crowd control. It's literally just coloring them in. I'm done, eyebrows done. I love a bold brow. I'm a bold brow type of girl. I don't like no calming brows. I want a brow that's a, I'm here. And I'm here to look at you. I want you to focus on my eyes. I'm gonna frame them with a dark brow. Next, we're gonna do my eye makeup, which takes two seconds. And I do that just so my foundation can kind of settle. And if I get anything or need to clean it up, I can. So I'm using ColourPop. This is sticker sheet. It came from the Hello Kitty set. I'm just putting it on my finger and dabbing it across my eyelid. Literally that simple. So not even that much color, just a little bit. A little bit to define my eyes. Now the brown is good because it is a contrast to the blue. And now I'm gonna go back and do them cheeks. And well, it's kind of a little contour, but not really. So I used this Ish palette. It came in a FabFitFun box like forever ago. It's also been through hell. So I'm gonna take a little bit of each of these two colors using the same brush. And the reason I use the same brush as I've just found, it's been easier for me to blend. A little bit of the foundation too mixes with whatever this crap is, and then I can put it on my face better. I found it easier for me for contouring than a blending sponge. So again, I'm just dabbing it on right there, and dabbing it on right there. And then down at the neckline just a little bit. And then a swoop, boop, boop, boop. And then up at the top. Now I can go in after I've gotten most of the color off the brush and just go in and kind of make it look a little smoother. For blush, I'm using this Givenchy, Givenchy, Givenchy Prism Blush and it looks like that. Now I'm using the same thing again. I don't know if that's kosher or if I should be switching, but I don't, so there you go. So I'm just going on the left hand side and then I'm just gonna dab, dab a little again here on the cheek to give me a little rosiness. <laughs> rosy, rosy, how does your garden grow? The last step is this is a highlighter from Yves Saint Laurent. It's a Touche Eclat Glow Shot. And this is in the color it's all stay on here, so I'm just gonna say pink. I'll find out link below. So all I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit on my finger. Boink! And then I'm dotting it right here. And again, this is all just uh, what I do. I don't know if it's actually correct. And then I'm blending it down into where I just put the blush. <laughs> and then I'm doing it again! And again, blending it down into where the blush is. Oops, a little bit too much there. Now I've got a nice highlight. Now all I'm gonna do is put a little bit more on my finger, and I'm gonna put a little bit here so it's not a ton, and then I'm gonna streak my nose, and I'm gonna highlight up here, and I'm gonna go back to that little dot, and I'm gonna go, boink, and then pull down. 
So now you can see it's almost done. My makeup's almost done. We're gonna go back to the eyes. We're gonna take my Benefit, the real uh, mascara in black. And I'm just gonna make those eyelashes not white because right now they're white. Putting on mascara, putting it on my eyes. Mascara on my eyes, mascara, yeah. Now I've got eyelashes. I'm gonna take my Clarins high school yearbook, whatever this is. I'm gonna switch it to the brown color. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna align a little bit. Just towards the ends. Oh, oopsie. I'm gonna align a little bit just towards the ends. Ooh, get out of my face, hair. Just to give myself a little pop in the corners. Ooh. I'm feeling myself. And the last, last, last thing for eyes is another eyeliner. This is from ColourPop. It is called, it's a cream gel liner and it's in the color Honey Dude. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. And this has been my new thing is like light right here. And this is like a flesh tone color. So it's literally just brightening the eye. So last step of the whole process and then we're done in less than 10 minutes is this color from Lime Crime. This is a matte so it will stay on your lips the whole day, which is fantastico. Um, and it's in a color called Blondie. And this is like my favorite thing I've purchased in a while. So it's just like this. Now I'm done. I actually bought this lip color because it reminded me of Erica Jane from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and I secretly want to be here and she always wears a lip color like this. So that's it. That is my super quick natural looking makeup routine and it's pretty much my favorite now. I don't feel like I'm wearing too much. I feel like it looks like me, but just a little bit accentuated. Uh, I do sometimes not even use the foundation and just use a little bit of blush and the glow. That's an option as well in the summer, but I love it. I think it's really fun and natural and kind of just brings out who I am a lot in makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Obviously I made this because you guys asked for it. <laughs> I had a lot of fun and I'll check you guys later. Peace. Oh, also all the details to all of this stuff, that's down below. So if you want it, let me know. Also, if you want to see any other makeup tutorials, any other look that you've loved and just want to know how to do, leave it down in the comments and I'll make it happen. Check you later, guys. Peace again. <laughs>